Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. This video is brought to you by RV Deep Clean. Over 40 ways to clean and downsize your Revit model all in one place. Get a free copy today by using the link in this video description. Have you ever wanted to quickly, in one single click, pin all of the levels and grids in your Revit model? Of course, you can do it manually, and that may not take a lot of time. But you may also want to integrate this pinning step as part of a larger model standardization process that you want to build in Dynamo. Let's see now how we can do that. Here I have a simple model with all the levels and grids that have not been pinned. If I now select these two and do select all instances in the entire project. You can see now we have in total 20 levels and grids there, but none of them has been pinned because I can pin them using this button here. Let's fix this in Dynamo. If I go to Dynamo here, open the script we will build together today, and just run it. You can see right now we have 20 items that have been pinned. When I go back to Revit, of course this button here is now disabled because they are pinned already. The only thing I can do now is unpinning them. So now we know the script has worked. Even better, I will show when we rebuild the script today, how to pin even other element types such as CAD files or point clouds or furniture objects if you never want them to move in your Revit model. Let me show you how to build a script right now, step by step. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's begin. I have in this model just a few example levels and grids. Let's see now how to pin all of them in one click. I will go to Dynamo now. Now it's a usual thing I normally do in my tutorials. Let's make now a way for Dynamo to read a text file that contains a Python script. We can then use a text from that file as a script input for this node here. And then it will just run the Python script that we have in the text file. Okay, so now we know the script, the actual logic We'll go into this test.py file here. It's a text file, so I will use my Visual Studio Code to edit it. And now the next step, we will go into Visual Studio Code, my favorite Python script editor for Dynamo. If you are new to this kind of workflow, don't worry. Just go down to this video description and use a link there to see my basic video tutorial on how to script things in Dynamo this way. It will also show you how to set up and use Visual Studio Code because this is really the best editor you can have for writing Python script to use later in Dynamo. The video will also show you step by step how to create and understand and use this Python script template that I have opened already. So that should give you all the information you need to then come back to this video and follow me from here. With that said, let's start scripting here. To begin, let's select all the levels in this model. We will still do the same for grids, but let's start with levels first for now. So I will say a new variable called levels will be equal to a filtered element collector on this document of the class level. This is us saying to Dynamo that it should collect all the level objects in the model. Next up, we want to get the element IDs of these levels. So let's go up here and create a new list first. Let's call this one IDs to pin. It will just be an empty list like this. I can then go down to here and start a for loop. So for level in all the levels up there, I can say IDs to pin should now receive the level ID. Just like this. Going down to here, we can now start pinning them. Let's start a new transaction for this purpose. I will call a new variable here. Let's say tr should be a new transaction on this document of the name of pin required items. We don't say just levels here because later on there may be more items we want to pin. So that's what I want to do for now. Let's now do tr.start to begin the transaction. And down here, let's do tr.commit. Always do these first before you go into the middle of them and try to establish some logic because more often than not, you may eventually forget to do commit and that will be quite inconvenient. Anyway, now that I have these two defined, I can start pinning items. We can do so using another for loop here. Let's do for ID, in IDs to pin. And now we want to get the element that is referenced by this ID. Actually, that reminds me, maybe we can do this in a shorter way. 
So instead of up here, instead of saying IDs to pin, I can now press F2 there to rename the variable. Let's say LMs to pin. Of course, with the right spelling here, like this. And because I've done that, I cannot change this from append level ID to just append the level itself. And down here, instead of 4 ID, I can do 4 LM in LMs to pin. Next step, before trying to pin this element, we want to check if it's already pinned. If that's the case, then we want to skip over it and go on to checking the next item. So I can do a conditional statement here. Let's say if lm.pinned equals to false. If that's the case, then I can just go ahead and continue to the next item in this loop. Now, when the cursor gets down to here, I know that the current element will not have been pinned. In that case, I can call lm.pinned equals to true. And that really is all you need to pin the levels. Let's now save this file. Go back to Dynamo here and start running this. Here we go, that's done it. If I now go back and select this level here, you can see clearly it has been pinned. Whereas if I undo the change that was done by Dynamo like this and select the same object one more time, you can see now it's not pinned anymore. So Dynamo indeed has pinned it for us. If I now even select all the levels of this type, I can see now that none of them has been pinned, but when I try to redo what Dynamo has done, and now redo the selection like this, all of them has been pinned, because now I can unpin them, that's why. So super easy there to pin your levels. Let's now do the same for the grids. I can simply go up here and copy those lines down below, and then change this variable name to grid lines. And for the class, we change it from level to grid. I can then go to here and say for grid in grid lines. I want to append that grid element to the elements to pin list like that. I can now save the script there, go back to here and maybe select this grid, see what it's like right now. So I have here 14 grid lines and all of them have not been pinned because I can pin them like this. Let's see if Dynamo can do it for us. I can go to here, save it again, back to Dynamo and run this script. That is now done. When I go back to Rabbit, select all the grid lines like so. They are now pinned, as you can see right there. So everything here has worked. We are not limited to pinning just levels and grids. Any other things you can select in Revit can also be pinned in Dynamo. If I go back to level 1 here and go for this chair, I can see that the category of it is furniture. If I do isolate by category, I see now that furniture has several different objects in my model. So what if I want to also pin those furniture objects? I can do that easily as well. Let's go back to here, copy those slides one more time. And change this now to furniture. For furniture, there's no class specific to just furniture objects. So I have to go for off category here instead of off class. And then I can supply a built in category to this method dot furniture. Here, the auto completion has helped me out. I can see now it's always the furniture I can select from this list. And then I can do where element is not element type because of course we want to pin the instances of furniture objects not the furniture types with that done i can go to here and say furniture as the list and then for this loop let's say item in furniture and then i can append item to lms to pin let's now save this go back to here and you can see all of these they haven't been pinned. If I now go to Dynamo and start the script one more time, go back to here, select them like so, they are now all pinned. There are some items not yet pinned, but that's only because I have some groups here. If I now select only the groups, we can see these are not pinned because they are not furniture objects. But if I now select the rest of them, 
everything I have selected have been pinned, as you can see right there. If I now instead go into a group here and edit it, select a furniture item in it, this one is also pinned. So the group member itself has been pinned, but not a group instance, because in the Dynamo script, we didn't select the groups, we only wanted furniture items. Anyway, if your objective for doing this is to standardize and clean up your Revit model, then doing this alone may not be enough because there are several more things you should do to your model to keep it light and clean. In that case, you should try one of the Revit plugins that does the model cleaning for you automatically, such as RV Deep Clean here. As you can see, it has several options to clean up the model. For example, under General, I have Perch Unused, Delete Unplaced Rooms, Areas, and Spaces, Explode Any Array Groups, Delete Non-Primary Design Options, and so on. Here we also have the option of pinning levels and grids, the same thing we've done just now in Dynamo. But here is part of the big collection of cleaning and standardizing commands you can run all in one place. If I go to the second tab here for views, I can clean up 2D elements that are hidden in views, or I can remove temporary views by their names. Coming down below, I can also delete often tags, often dimensions, unused lifestyles, light patterns, view patterns and so on. Same for views, I can delete unused view templates, unused view filters, or simply removing views that are not on any sheet. Coming down to the links tab, I can also clean up cat links, Revit links, even pin the links if I want to. Of course, we can do the same in Dynamo, but here you can choose to pin Revit links and pin cat links without having to script anything more. So if I now go back to Revit and undo what Dynamo has done to my model, Go back to RV Deep Clean now, click on Clean Model here. It will slowly go through all of the items I select for execution in the model and clean up my Revit file automatically. And at the end of the process, you can see now it gives a nice report of everything that had been cleaned up from the file for me. For example, unused area boundaries, unused few patterns. If I go a bit down to here, I have line patterns, parameters, and unused views as well. So overall, a very simple and quick way to apply several different model cleaning commands in one single click. If you want to try RV Deep Clean completely for free, just go down to this video description and use the link there to get your free copy today. Anyway, if you only need to pin levels and grids and some other custom elements for now, then this Dynamo script here will be all you need. To finish this off, I can go to Python now, press Ctrl A, Ctrl C to copy all of this, go to here and use a proper Python script node, open it here by double clicking, and then paste the whole script into here. Save it, close it down, and that means I no longer need all of those other nodes below, so we can delete them for now. Actually, to see the elements that have been pinned, I can go to the script again. And here I have an empty list up here that is called watch. Whenever I pin a new element, I can just append to the watch list that element so I can see it in the output. So if I now control A, control C again, replace the text with what I have copied, save it now, and run this, I can now see the output that I have pinned. 30 different elements in one single click. These are furniture objects and levels and grids. Well, we don't see the levels and grids in this list because they have been pinned previously. If I go back to here and undo the cleaning steps that RV Deep Clean had done to the model, and then rerun the script here, maybe close and reopen it. Here we go, run it one more time. I can see now, instead of 30 items from before, I have now 44 of them because the levels and the grids, they have been just pinned for me by Dynamo. So if you like this script and want to try it yourself without having to rebuild it, just go down to this video description and use a link there to download this script directly and run it on your file. If you, however, want to focus on mastering Python scripting in Dynamo, then check out my full Python course in the video description. If you like this lesson and want more like this every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.